was offered a site at Pendakota, Odessa. Being a densely populated fisherman community prone to cyclone and flood threats, the small site provided was used optimistically in the best way possible to safeguard the community. The goals were set, keeping in mind integrated environmental planning of water and energy and the principles of co-housing resilient shelter. Also 10 among the 17 sustainable development goals set by UN has been achieved. Being in a warm and humid climate with heavy rainfall during monsoon, it aims for a 100% occupancy during June to December and a 50% occupancy during the remaining time. Currently, the site has become a wasteland surrounded by crowded slums. However, the cyclone and weather condition situation makes the need of a resilient shelter inevitable. Thus, bringing us into the three phases our project is going to function in. That is the pre-disaster time as workshops and anganwadis. During the disaster time, it is going to be converted to shelters for the villagers and during post-disaster manage the disaster loss by providing help and support. It highlights few innovative concepts incorporated such as maximizing the space available, women empowerment and revenue generation through weaving workshops for the women. Also affordability is achieved through less energy consumption. Even if investment costs are high, we can get the internal rate of returns in few years. Our project addresses net zero energy and water incorporates renewable resources, strives to be resilient, and promotes healthy environment. Renewable sources are mainly of two types, 50% is solar energy using PV panels and 50% from wind energy using H-series wind turbines. There is high rainfall compared to the footprint of the site. Different end uses have been recognized and to meet the amount, rainwater and surface water is treated using root zone treatment and reuse. Our team has also tried to extend our sustainability plans through social platforms. Visit our IG page and thank you for your time.